Good day, my lovely viewers. Welcome to Dan Biomedical. Today, I'm going to take you through the operation of an efficient pump. This right here is a Mindre SK602 efficient pump. So, I want to take you through some of the operation and manipulation. So, this is a switch, the, the power button. You press on it to put on the efficient pump. So you see the efficient pump is on. So right here you can see on the screen we are seeing uh, use the last parameters. So you can decide to use it. You can decide to say no. So you can move it left and right, but it's always available to you say no unless you were doing an efficient on a patient and then the light goes off and eventually your equipment battery is bad and it went off as well. So when it come on, you can easily choose yes, so that I can continue from where it stopped. Do you understand? So that you don't miss your count or your timing. Are you following? So, um, to take you through this special monitor, this efficient pump, sorry. Um, right here, we have the OK button. We have the button to manipulate up and down. Uh, we have this stop button here. We have this uh, set button here. We have this... Uh, button here written start so below this is where you start the efficient and here we have the clear or silent here we have the select button and this space here is where you fix your efficient set um, there is this set you hung it up there and then you pass the tube the efficient set tube down this path through this path and then you take it to the patient I follow in. So this here is the door is called the door handle. So when you before you pass in the efficient set, you have to open the door, raise it like the door is open, so that there are some mechanical part here and some um, stuff here that need to open so that when you pass in the efficient set, it can go through and then when you lock this, it clips and then it locks the efficient set very tightly so that it can't go out and then there will be an indicator light here to show that the drift set has been fixed properly this light here indicates that the system the efficient pump is charging and then when you fix the drift set if there is no light here then you have to refix it because this indicator comes up if the drift set is fixed properly is that following are you following so this is the rates at which you want your efficient to run through so it can be set how do you set that you can click on ok and it goes there then you can manipulate it you can manipulate the number so you set the rates at which you want after if you, when you're done with the setting the rates when you're done with the settings of the number you want you see here right there you can change the number up there see the number up there can be changed you see you see then when you are done you can press on the ok button to continue then you can also take it down here you can also take it down if you want to set the parameter you can also set it as well then you click on ok you can take it down to the drag and then when you switch it down these, these are the various drags so you can select the drug you want to inf infuse the patient with you see atropine you see the various drugs that are happening. These are various drugs that can be infused into a patient. So you can choose anyone you want to choose there. Then when you are done, you click on OK. And then you quickly continue with your stuff. So it goes back for you. That is it. Then um, you can go back from here. If you press here, it takes you back. So this is timing. This is the time. You can press on it. Then you can easily set the time. Click on OK. Click on OK. You can set the time. How how long do you want the how how, how fast do you want the delivery to go? How many how, the timing of the delivery? Is it 30 minutes? Is it 20 minutes? Is it 10 minutes? Is it 40 minutes? So you set the time according to how you want the delivery to go. 
is that understood then when you're done you can click on ok then that is that so when you are done with all the settings that you want and you're okay and you want to kick start the efficient then you can just click on this start button it's written here start to bolus click on the start button the efficient is supposed to start if there was a drift set this 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 uh, alarm is an alarm that shows you that there is no drift set is it tube error tube error can you see that tube error is so this lights and the alarm signify that there is no tube the error will always be here any error that's going to see right there we can see is written tube error can you see that tube error this tube error means there is no drift set and tube pass through here that's why so otherwise after everything i've shown you through this is where you press and the efficient will start is that understood so next so next i'm going to show you how to calibrate so in calibrating is very easy so you just you are supposed to hold this and this together so to calibrate this efficient pump you have to hold two these two buttons select button and stop button together so you hold the two of them together you can see them this select button and this is stop button so you hold the both buttons together simultaneously then you press on them simultaneously then it takes you to this interface this interface you can easily scroll down you see scroll down scroll down you can see there that is accuracy calib calibration this is accuracy calibration so this is where you do your calibration so you click on ok then you click on ok then you set this is your parameter to whatever number you want it then after that you you after the settings you can go to start and then you kick start it is that understood so usually if there was a drift set a drift set fixed in here it would have started calibrating you will see around here written calibrating you see it's supposed to begin the calibration if there was a drift set there do you understand so that's it then after the calibration it will take you down to this actual vol actual volume to take you down to this actual volume we are 70 written then you now set the parameters when, when calibrating you take you collect the water in a bowl in a calibrated cylinder where you can know the number of the amount of water that has gone through it then the number that finishes the calibration you input that number in this actual volume so this is how to calibrate then when you're done you can okay and then and then you go back so this is how to calibrate how to operate and calibrate an efficient pump thank you for watching my video please subscribe like and comment thank you